Hi, I'm Neil Armstrong, and I was the first person to set foot on the moon. Hello, fellow Americans. My name is John Kennedy. I am the 35th president of the United States, and I started the space program. Without President Kennedy's speech about the space race, I would have never gotten the chance to go to the moon. On, to se on September 1962, I spoke to America while I was at Rice University and promised that the United States will be the leaders of the space exploration. We will send a man to the moon at the end of the decade. Some people believe that this is a waste of time and money and that the risk of sending someone into outer space outweighs the possible rewards we will see in the space acceleration. President Kennedy chose me and two other men to complete his dream, and on July 20th, 1969, we set foot on the moon and placed an American flag there and state that America was there first. So, Neil, how did it feel to be the first person to set foot on the moon? Were you scared, excited, or worried? The exciting part for me as a pilot was landing on the moon. That was the time that we had achieved the national goal of putting Americans on the moon. The landing approach was by far the most difficult and challenging part of the flight. Walking on the linear surface was very interesting, but it was something that looked as reasonably safe and predictable. So the feeling of elation accompanied the landing rather than the walking. So how long did it take to get to the moon, and how long were you up there? Well, it could have taken up to 136 days or 36 hours, but I'd say it took three days. I really don't know how long we stayed at the moon. By my guess, I would say five to six hours, possibly four. When you landed on the moon, what were your thoughts? Did you think the moon looked different from what you expected? Were you in shock that you were the first person to ever land on the moon? Once I landed on the moon, I felt very proud of myself. That's why I said, once we landed, well, this is one small step for man and one giant leap for mankind. I can't believe that the SpaceX program that I started in 1962 actually happened before the end of the decade. This is an honor to meet someone who landed on the moon and that the space program is so successful. Space missions are still launching into outer space today. I would like to thank you for sending me to the moon. If it wasn't for you, I would have never, I would have never been known or experienced my time on the moon. No problem, Neil. I needed someone with courage, strength, and who was willing to risk their lives. I wanted a man who was not afraid of the unknown. Today I hear that space travel is getting more complex and we are getting more information on other planets. Yes, with all the new technology coming out, we are getting better pictures of space and other planets too. We now have technology that can do many things and get us information, like if there is or isn't life on Mars, or if there is a planet that can sustain life. When I launched into space, I had the right amount of technology to take pictures of them. Now with new t newer technology, we can get better pictures of the moon and beyond. And to think, this all started in 1962 when you gave the speech. But you were the one who landed on the moon, which made all of us to be proud Americans. You saved us the courage and strength to, be f to move forward with the, sa with the space program. Unfortunately, John F. Kennedy did not see the space launch, nor the landing. This was because at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time on Friday, November 22, 1963, more than a year after he promoted the space race, was assassinated at Delay Plaza, Dallas, Texas. He was assassinated by a man named Lee Harvey Oswald. People are still trying to find out if there was a second shooter. The space race still continued, and on July 20, 1969, John F. Kennedy's dream lived as America landed on the moon for the first time. As he promised, we were going to have a man on the moon by the end of the decade.